former WNBC uh, anchor Sue Simmons says that she used to have a little sippy sip before she'd go on air. <laughs> <laughs> a sippy sip. I bet you Sue Simmons like. Before she goes out. You know, she had that tirade the other day, cursing and stuff. We have it. We have oh, that Oh, we have video. it? All right, let's check that out. <laughs> I wonder if she had a little sippy sip before this. The fuck are you doing? That was awesome. No, that was awesome. We need to acknowledge an unfortunate mistake that I made and one of the teasers we bring to you before this program. While we were live, just after 10 o'clock, I said a word that many people find offensive. I'm truly sorry. It was a mistake on my part, and I sincerely apologize. And, maybe and time for another sippy sip. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Come on, that was awesome. That was awesome. If I was a producer, that would freak me out a little bit. I'd get a little scared. Oh, yeah. Apparently, she cursed up a mean streak. Right. Oh. She's she's uh, defined as a zany person. Zany person. Zany. <laughs> sippy. <laughs> sippy sip. <laughs> All right, now she claims, no, 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 that was back in the 80s. You know how we used to roll in the 80s, mm -hmm. right? She's been around forever in New York. Uh, but nowadays, no, 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 I don't do that anymore. She used to, be between the 5, 6 o'clock uh, news they had and the 11 o'clock news, they'd go out for some, uh, mm -hmm. you know, dinner uh, with uh, full of martinis. Right. They, they, they say she used to like her liquid dinners. Right. <laughs> she ain't done with that. But what's amazing with this is, with the anchors, is how much, how loaded they are all the time, mm -hmm. you know? Another guy, Jim Jensen in New York. I mean, forget the sippy sips. I mean, he was like doing coke, you know? And so, and people, he was going crazy, right? Mm -hmm. So these guys, they're, they're so funny. And it's not like they're busy collecting the news. They don't really have anything to do. They just read the prompter, right? right. So they're like, <sighs> okay, all right. All right, late breaking news. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> God, it reminds me so much of Anchorman and how Ron Burgundy will always have a little bit of scotch before his newscast. <laughs> yeah. But it, hey, look, it was just the 80s. That's how they rolled back then. <laughs> All right. So anyway, I don't mind. I don't care. Hey, look, you get drunk, we, we have even more fun. <laughs> then I'm much more likely to watch. By the way, she said that she stopped uh, drinking before broadcast because her eyes would turn bloodshot red. She's like, yeah, yeah, I wasn't impaired or anything. <laughs> it's just I was concerned that my eyes looked a little red. Uh, meanwhile, this, according to this story, people uh, on, that work with her are like, <laughs> they're like, yeah, 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 not impaired. Like, <laughs> hold on, yeah. live, breaking news. <laughs> Let's go out to the Queens. Where's my drink? <laughs> All right, anyway, look, uh -huh. if they did the broadcast like that, that would be the first time I watched local news. Mm -hmm. So, God bless. Go forward, Sue. We're on, funny enough, we're on your side. Mm -hmm.